Hello guys, my name is Armin. In today's episode of Learning Fuser, we're going to take a look at the navigation. Uh, Fuser is specifically for the software. They have a different way uh, to navigate and go from one point to another point. But Fuser is going to give you multiple choice if you want to follow the Revit or Navisworks navigation status or the actual uh, Fuser. There is going to be uh, different ways that you can navigate and going from one side of the project to the another side of the project that we're going to review in today's video. And I'm going to show you how you can get the guide in Fuser. They have their own guide. You can bring it. You can take a look at it. And then basically you can familiarize yourself with the different method that you can navigate within Fuser. Without further ado, let's jump into Fuser so we can review the navigation process. In today's episode, I want to talk about the very important topic, which is the navigation in Fuser. In most 4D software navigation, a little bit different, but Fuser makes it easy for the user by giving you different options to move around and kind of control uh, your navigation. So in order to open up your navigation controls, we go to settings and you can see the first one that is going to pop up is a navigation control under the settings. As you can see, we have different controls right here, which is going to be the Revit control, Nav work and free camera Revit is the buttons work like you are in Revit so the camera moves around with the same uh, button clicks as you have in Revit and as soon as I click on it you can see fuser switches to the Revit camera and it's gonna move around based on the uh, Revit and if you want to know how it's gonna work you can toggle this navigation dialog which is gonna give you a little bit of you know how the mouse work you know zoom in and out and also all the keys that you have over here. If you want to go to Navis, I can click on Navis. It's going to switch to camera. I can toggle navigation dialog. You can see it basically shows me this is a walk, uh, thir a turn. This one is the pan. This one is box select and everything kind of same thing that follows the Navis work control. The free camera control, this is exactly what the fuser has. And you can see basically shows you how you can kind of move around. Uh, we kind of pushing all the buttons. This is a default version. I would recommend just use this one. It's going to be easier and you get used to it after a while because everything is going to work with this a little bit easier later on when you uh, move around uh, with your cameras. But you have other options if you feel uh, most familiar with the Navis or Revit, you can kind of switch to those as well. This is the lock cam, which is going to lock the camera at the given height above the surface. So you're given a height, it's going to lock it above the surface. But in order for these features to use, you have to have a, a surface. You have to have a 3D surface or some type of train to use this feature because you want to provide an elevation from a specific surface that you can say, I want the camera to be locked that this elevation is going to stay at that until you're done the next one is going to be the avatar visibility which is this guy right there if you want to have it or remove it and also you can control for, uh, from the avatar's point of view so as soon as click on it it's going to switch to that mode and these are going to be all the uh, basically items that you can all, all the keys that you can use to navigate with the avatar so if I kind of move, you can see like the guy basically kind of move around like here and there, uh, back, go to left, right. And then if you want to drop it, you can simply drop and the guy goes over there. You can kind of continue to walk. If you want to go a different level, come over here. It's going to move it all around. And this is all the keys that you'll be able to kind of use if you sometimes forget about those. Uh, you can kind of use these toggle on and off. You'll be able to use it. So free camera, fuser default. Um, then that's a Navis control, Revit, and Avatar. I am personally using this, uh, but it's basically I never use the Avatar. But it just um, kind of preference of how guys would you like to use um, this item. 
so the next one uh, at the bottom right here you can see we have the view cube which is going to be the easy uh, kind of alignment uh, if you are somewhere you can use the view cube or you want to go to the mini map mini map is really helpful is going to show the camera in relation to the structure or the model that you're using um, so you can see basically this is the camera i can even move it this is going to be the location of the avatar uh, or the person that we kind of dropped. Uh, you can kind of move the cameras anywhere you want and you'll be able to kind of see exactly where it goes. Uh, this one right here kind of zoom in and out. Uh, what is going to help you is you can see just going to zoom in and out uh, area for the mini map uh, if your model has some grids when you turn this on it's going to turn on the grid so you should be able to see the grids over here and this one is going to raise the grid bring it up to the upper levels and this one push it down to the lower levels so you can see the uh, grids using um, that icon and then you can kind of raise the grade to the upper levels and lower levels so that's a, a great tool that you can kind of use the next one on the this face is just the home is going to take you back to the home screen that you can see and this is a, a jump so basically you can jump to a specific location so this is if you this is have a, a coordinates x y and z if you put a specific coordinates over here click on this it jumps to that specific coordinates that you have and this one is going to be basically just the levels it's going to show you where those levels are uh, the, this uh, little icon with a little blue in it that's minimize it and you can make it bigger and the white one the white arrow is scale it up so it's going to make it bigger and i think it has like three and this is the the biggest one that you can kind of see over here uh, to kind of move the items around and make it bigger and if you want to go back to a smaller scale you just double click that three times go back to the smaller scale again if you want to go back to the cube uh, you can kind of select on those ones. So you can kind of toggle back and forth between these two. These three items that you can see here, uh, this is the camera speed. So what I mean that, like if I make these, it's gonna make it really fast. So you guys can see it's a little bit hard to control. Um, I would stay in the middle. Uh, this one, just a rotation of the camera speed and that's the smoothness of moving the camera from one side to another side. Um, so these are all the navigation that you can see in the setting, but there is a one little uh, note or tip. So if you go to fly through, you can see this cinematic navigation control. So this is a little bit different than the actual normal control and it's going to happen in the fly through but you all uh, you can activate this in a normal view as well so what i'm going to show you is um this is going to be just all the uh, controls for the cinematic uh navigation control so what it does basically put the sphere which is going to be this let me get close uh, a little bit here okay it's going to put that little Bar, uh, like a level sphere or let's say a circle so you can orbit around that so it's going to create a pivot point for you you can move uh, put it around so what you can do you can basically position this how you can do you can uh, kind of with with your uh, mouse so this is basically i'm just clicking with my uh, left mouse and then put it over there and if i want to uh, uh, pivot around i'm holding shift and middle mouse button so it's basically moving stuff around and i can move it's really helpful especially if you want to get a specific location and find uh, a specific view to look at it this is going to be a great tool uh, and the other note is you can turn on the map so if you're creating a fly through you want to show the map like a mini map on top that shows the whole plan you can turn that on and off as well here uh it's going to be really good and then also you can toggle the cinematic camera so if i turn these off that goes away and it goes back to the same view or it's the same control navigation that I have in my view. So if I stick to, let's say, default fuser navigation, if I turn the cinematic camera off in the fly through, the navigation goes back to the original navigation in my view set, which is fuser. But if I do this, you can see that little yeah, green 
loop circle or sphere shows up, which is going to be the pivot point that I can kind of go uh, around it. So the, the good thing is, let me just go back to my view. At this point, I'm back to my original view. And if I want to turn on the cinematic navigation control in my view, I just need to hold Alt and left mouse. You can see it shows the cinematic camera, shows the sphere. I can move it and then I can hold shift plus the middle mouse button. And that's going to be the pivot point that I can kind of go around. You can move it anywhere you want and then kind of move around that location. If you don't like it, just hold back alt and then left mouse goes back. You're going back to your original navigation control. So hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I thought it kind of important to share with you exactly how to navigate in Fuser, especially in the like a 4D software, because sometimes navigation is really hard. The reason is you need to pick a main view or a specific view to show your construction sequence. Hope that you guys enjoy enjoyed today's video. If you like the content, please make sure to subscribe and leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Thank you.